Good morning, friends. Have you ever been paralyzed by fear? Like just, maybe it's just something so little like, you know, a spider, or maybe you're afraid to go in the ocean because you're afraid that shark will get you. Or it's just, you're paralyzed by analysis. And let me just say, you know, I know that feeling all too well. But then I realized that fear is actually a warning light that something has replaced God. My name is Rachel Tucker and I'm the founder of Women at the Well Academy and I just wanna share a little story with you about focus plus distraction and how it could actually work for you. Where I know it sounds like an oxymoron, but just stay with me here. I was on a vacation one time and uh, and this is something that I learned before so I got to use it in this example and with some friends and they were afraid to get in the water and so like, let's go for a walk so we were just kind of walking along the edge of the water the edge of the ocean kind of like this except it was the big blue ocean and I just was just talking to her just basically distracting her and unbeknownst to her I was actually leading her out into the thing that she was afraid of simply because she was focused on me and focused on the conversation so about five months five minutes in we look up and she's waist we're both waist deep in the water because I had her distracted from her fears because she was focused on the message that I was giving her. And I remember when my kids were little, when they would fall down, they would cry and I would say, look up. And so they would look up. And when they look up, they would stop crying and then forget why they were even crying. Call it a pattern erupt. It works better than, you know, throwing a glass of water in some people's faces, which, you know, sometimes I've wanted to do that at some times, you know, there's some water in your face, pattern interrupt. Now, what were we talking about again? So that stuff works, friends. So let me just remind you of something. Peter was the first one out of the boat and was walking on water because he had his focus on Jesus, right? It was when the storms came that he took his focus off and he started to drown. But when you can choose to be, I'm gonna be distracted by the focus that I have on Jesus and not the storm. Because when you do that, friends, you will walk on water. And so the next time you get to the edge of the water, like we are right now, when you get to the edge and you are afraid to step, look up, child, look up and then move, and then move. I hope that helps somebody today. And let me, while you're on here, just invite you, you know, during this whole pandemic, the Lord urged me to start serving. So back in April, I started serving, started doing these free challenges, because I felt like it was my way to serve, my way to give back. Lives have been impacted. And so our next one is a five day Fierce plus freedom challenge. It's completely free. And all you have to do is click the link in the, link in the description of this video to get signed up. Um, what do you got to lose? Let me tell you, you have everything to gain, which is one, an amazing community of some pretty awesome kingdom women who have broke free of some serious stuff and are now launched into the calling on their life. I hope you're doing this. Did you see? Look, anybody can do this. I had a speech impediment in second grade. Well, obviously, I still have one. Couldn't say my R's. My name's Rachel. Ha! Huh. Isn't that funny? Anyways, I hope you join us. We'll see you soon.